This idea that people have to have a piece of land and have to have, you know, a house is, I think, is getting outdated. I think that it's a, it's a model that isn't working anymore. The whole world and the whole economy and everything is right on the edge now. I think there, you know, politically, I think some people are trying to drive it over the edge and some people are trying to bring it back. And uh, we just have to hope that the people are trying to bring it back can undo the damage of the people that are taking it over the brink. It started out uh, years and years ago when I was about 12. My, uh, my mother was the, 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 the nature, uh, the mother nature type, and she would load all the five kids in the station wagon and take us camping. When I was in school, uh, industrial designers were taught that they were supposed to make life better for people. That by designing something that made life simpler, better, less expensive, sort of made it, uh, was what we were supposed to do. The, the Echo Pad is a, is a, an attempt to design a structure that can be built by anybody who needs a small, safe, comfortable, self-sufficient, you know, eco-friendly structure. If the building was on wheels, so the land isn't committed. And if you could build a structure which was self-contained in that it uh, could process its own sewage, then the, the building inspector is, uh, is okay with it and the health inspector is okay with it, which is the magic formula. I mean, you know, without both of them, it's not possible. In a half an hour, I had two OKs. So it had to be done. <laughs> but you can only build one for yourself. If you go into business, then you have to go through different rules and regulations. My intention is just to prove that it can work. As the idea began to evolve, people could see that it actually was real, that it wasn't just you know a dream. We thought that we would build this one uh, on a 20-foot trailer frame, thinking that it was a small one. I always believe if you're trying to do something, do it small scale. If it works small, it'll work big. I'll try to explain uh, how this uh, roof system works. Two roofs. The top one collects the water. The inside one evaporates it. So this roof will collect enough water to drink. You've got enough to cook. You've got enough for uh, a very simple uh, shower to clean once a day. We're getting two 208-watt uh, uh, solar panels, um, and we've, I've just uh, picked up uh, four six-volt six uh, golf cart batteries with LED lights uh, uh, spread around. Also, the, uh, the, the, there will be a fan in the composting toilet. Using the minimum amount of electricities, electricity, the best, the best equipment smallest, most refined, efficient equipment that we can use to do all the functions that this building needs to do. What I would like to see is um, that anyone who is uh, interested in this idea to give it a try and see if it works for them. You know, I've committed to, uh, to finishing this, you know, one way or another. I mean, I, I, I welcome any help, of course, but this thing is not going to be stopped for for you know, lack of energy or money or anything, we're just gonna do it, because it has to be done. Everybody's going through this paradigm shift. They, they realize there's a problem, they realize we need to find solutions, they see solutions, they want the solutions. So, here we go.